Happy anniversary. Five years ago this week, U.S. stock markets plunged to levels not seen in over a decade. On March 9, 2009, the Dow was at 65.47. The S&P 500 fell to 676, its lowest level since September of 1996. The Nasdaq was at 1268. Since then, markets have charged higher with the S&P 500 up over 175 percent since those dark days, including dividends. Returns have more than tripled since the bear market low and the S&P 500 continued to make new highs. After last week's jitters over tensions in Ukraine, investors will turn to the economy this week. The focus will be retail sales, which may have been impacted by everyone's favorite culprit, the weather. This year, it has been difficult to measure the true health of the economy due to conditions that left much of the country trapped under snow and ice. And that's according to the Federal Reserve. In the central bank's beige book of economic conditions, there were 119 separate mentions of the word weather, which must be a record of sorts. In honor of International Women's Day this weekend, it's a good moment to remind you that based on median annual earnings for full-time year-round workers, Women are paid just 77 cents on the dollar compared to men. There may be a glimmer of hope. The earnings difference between women and men varies with age. Younger women more closely approach pay equity than older women. In New York, I'm Jill Schlesinger.